Good afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, sige. So, ayun nga, sabi ko nga kanina, um, ang bilis ng weekend, okay? Uh, Monday na naman, another week na naman. Ang bilis, sobra. So, musta naman ang mga, ang weekend nyo po? Ayan. Can you hear na, can you hear me na po ba? Ayan, no sound. Ayan, okay na daw. Okay, thank you. <laughs> sobra akong na-excite eh. So, ayan. Ayan, sige. Hi, Precious. Hi, Ray. Good afternoon. Hello sa ating 18 yan. Parami nang, parami na. Ating mga viewers. Sobrang excited silang marinig ang story ng ating guest ngayon. Ako rin eh, actually. <laughs> so, ayan. Nasaan na ba si Miss um, Alfie? I think papasok na siya. So, ayan. Sige. Alright. Sige, sige. Um, okay. Ayan. Okay po. Sige. Uh, I think pa uh, papasok na lang, hahabol na lang si Miss Alfie sa ating uh, freelancer's parent story ngayong afternoon. Okay, sige. So, hi, Medisary. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, LJ. Good afternoon. Hi, hi, hi. So, pwede bang magtanong sa ating mga viewers ngayon? Ano bang ini-expect nyo sa ating guest ngayon? <laughs> Yan, sige. Basta tayo ng konting mga comments here. Bago ko po introduce ang ating guest. Okay, siguro medyo may konting delay. Okay, sige. So, again, good afternoon. Okay, my name is Sherry and uh, another session na naman po ng ating freelancer inspiring stories today. And, um, Yan, sige po. Okay, sige, wag na po nating patagalin. Uh, I just want to um uh welcome you guys, our guest, okay? Uh, ako, isa ako sa ano dito, eh. idol ko rin to eh. <laughs> uh, and um yan. Yan, sige, sige. Medyo may delay lang mang konti, sorry ah. Okay, sige. Yes, Coach Harry, sabi ni Ray. Ayan. <laughs> oh, then excited ako. Feeling ko nga makikinig lang din ako eh. <laughs> okay, sige, sige. Okay, sige po. Okay, huwag na natin patagalin. Kanina pa ang kulit-kulit ko, diba? <laughs> Ayan, sabi ni LJ, paano siya naging magaling sa pagkuha ng client? Woo! Okay, medyo nag-curious si Miss LJ. So, ayan si Kim. Good afternoon. Okay, sige. Uh, okay, let's not uh, prolong the agony. Let's welcome our guest. Okay, he is a growth instinct coach. Okay, and uh, he's in a mission of helping 150 entrepreneurs. And I think it's 121 na ngayon. So, uh, hindi ko na masyadong ididetalye kahit, dahil gusto kong marinig from him mismo. And um, let's hear uh, maraming tips. Okay, sinabi ko nga sa newsletter kanina. Let's hear more tips and tricks. And um, let's lo learn more from him. And probably some of our viewers here might need his help. Okay, sige, let's uh, welcome Mr. Harry. Sorry, sir, hindi ko po alam paano i-pronounce na maayos yung last name niyo. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. It's Sing. Sing As in, you? parang kanta lang. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hello, Sherry. Nice to be here. Yes, hello po. <laughs> welcome po sa The Shepherd Built Well Accountants and Bookkeepers Community. So, ayan, kasama ko po si Alfie kasi medyo na-delay lang sa pagpasa. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So, ayun. Sige po. Musta po kayo? It's been a while. Kailan ba tayo mas nagkita? Uh, January pa ata. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mat medyo matagal na. Well, eto. Uh, kakakain ko lang ng ano, greenwich. So, Ooh, yan. Nagutom. Lasagna and chicken. So, Ay. ganado tayo today. <laughs> yes! <laughs> medyo ano. Medyo malamig kasi umuulan. Pero, yeah. Oh, energy, energy. <laughs> Yes, oo, sarap kumain, naod lang, ganyan, relax, relax. 
<laughs> Actually, nakakatamad nga mag-work kanina. Sabi ko, ay hindi. May kailangan pa akong tapusin. Pero, ayun. Yun nga. Sige, ang sarap ng greenage. Stop. Naubos nyo na po ba, Sir Harry? Pwedeng manghingi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yung pizza na lang. So, I'm saving it for later. <laughs> oh, sige, sige, sige. Okay. Miss Alfie, nandiyan ka na ba? Okay po ba yung video nyo? Buti naman po, Sir Harry, okay na yung video nyo. Yeah, uh, hindi ako techie eh. So, I just had to adjust a few things. Ginugil ko para okay na siya. Same here. Hindi <laughs> nga with techie. So, ayan. Hi, Miss Alfie. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Okay na ba yung kapitbahay mo? <laughs> Wala pa rin. <laughs> Mahirap talaga pag ano. <laughs> Nasa subdivision. Okay, sige. Huwag na natin patagalan, Miss Alfie. Um, ito po ang ating yes. guest si Mr. Harry. Um, uh, let's start na for our first question. Sige. So, Sir Harry, um, uh, sigurado maraming curious dito sa ating mga viewers. Ayan, dumadami sila. 40, 41 na. Um, Gusto nilang malaman yung story niyo. Story niyo po. So, how did you start with the uh, freelancing? So, a bit of your backstory po. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was actually teaching in high school um, way back 2008. And then, uh, of course, naghanap ako ng extra income. <laughs> uh, hindi, hindi, hindi kasing lucrative yung, yung teaching. Uh, and I needed some side hustle. Uh, meron ako isang co-teacher na pagbanggit na I can start writing articles online. And so I dived into it way back 2009. So first article that I wrote, it's a 500-word article and I was paid $2 for it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> basically, 100 pesos. Yeah. Yes. Um, tapos to na ano, na, so I, I spent like, 30 minutes to, to craft that or 30, 40 minutes to craft that article. And I thought na, yeah, pwede to. Kasi if I have spare time, I can just look for uh, articles to write and then I have 100 pesos per article. So sa akin, okay. tuwa na ako um, So I get to write about three to five articles uh, on a daily basis. So... Uh, tapos pag weekends, pumapasada ako. Ganyan, para todo. Um, yes. And then, doon ko na-realize na ano, may, may pera pala sa online. So, hindi pa freelancing yung tawag ko doon. Eh. Parang hindi ko pa alam yung gano'n. Pero, Part-time yeah, that's job. that's how I started. Part-time lang talaga. Um, so, mga ilang oras yeah. kaya yun, Sir Harry? Yung nag-start ka? Uh... Actually, I know I started ano lang, three to five articles. Usually, that takes me around three hours, three hours and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero kailangan ano yung sujante ko na yung check ng mga quiz, chak mm-hmm. exams. <laughs> Kailangan ko ipasa <laughs> para mas may oras ako na ano na hindi taga grade na lang talaga. Ayun. Uh, I had to to juggle sa time management and stuff. Ayun. Pero yeah, three to five articles, mga three hours in a day and yeah. Mm, malaking tulong na din po 'yon way back then, 'di ba? Sobra. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Sige po. Um no kasi, um curious kami sir kasi 'di ba uh, um freelancing. Ano ano po pa lang year 'yon, yung nag-start kayo with this part-time job. Yan, side hustle niyo po no? Yeah, that was 2009, so mid 2009. Mm-hmm. Actually before magpasokan ng June 2009. So that's when I discovered it. Okay po. So kailan po kayo nag-transition into full-time na, na nagiging, naging freelancer? Mm. So that's uh, 2012. So noong 2011, I actually left my teaching job. And then mm-hmm. 2012, uh, nagkaroon ako ng isang full-time na client. Mm-hmm. Uh, so naging VA, naging VA na ako of sorts. So it's a general VA, and I was doing eight hours of work uh, daily. Yeah. Tapos, so iba na yung, so yun ay naging full time ko, but I have other side gigs as well. So yeah. Pero offline naman siya. Pang benta benta tayo ng kung ano ano. 
Yes, yan ang talaga dapat madiskarte. <laughs> nice, okay po. So, 2012, so hanggang ngayon po, parang more than 8 years po ba? Or hindi, 2009 po kayo nag-start, nag-side hustle. So, ilang years na yun? Do the yeah, math. So, <laughs> almost years. 11. Yeah, almost oh, 11. Oh, grabe. Ang tagal na. Okay, more than one day. Ang tanda ko na. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman masyadong mahalala, sir. Okay. Um, uh, ayun po. Sige po. So ngayon po yung um ino-offer yung services ngayon sa services ngayon is more on coaching lang po ba or may other uh, Actually uh with my freelance service what I consider talaga as my freelance service now is nasa business consulting. Mm-hmm. So it's more about helping uh, my clients uh polish their processes yung systems nila in place, yung step-by-step way of doing things mm-hmm. so that it saves them uh, time, effort, and of course, money. Mm-hmm. Sige po. So, um, Sir Harry, curious din kami dun sa na-mention na Zero to Hero na title namin. Kasi diba, um, na-mention din po dun yung Road to 150. Could you please tell us more about it? Po? Yeah, uh, Well, it was actually a. Per- it started as a personal challenge, because um, last year I was I was in a lot of uh, transition. I haven't really niched down, no. Like matagal na ako sa sa freelancing about 10 years last year, mm-hmm. pero hindi pa talaga ako pumili ng specific niche. So parang kahit sino basta may opportunity and then my my way to to serve clients. Kahit sa ang industriya and uh, yeah, go tayo jay. Pero I actually I actually joined I actually joined the tribe uh, mm-hmm. last year, and then that's where I realized that uh, I was leaving a lot of opportunities in in the table if I don't niche down. Because there's a lot of uh, ways for me to grow business mm-hmm. and grow the impact that I create for other businesses. Then so yeah, I started to niche down, and then the next similar road to 150. Uh, basically, I, w- I started helping um, insurance agent owners and then mm-hmm. naging digital agencies. So, yeah, uh, it was just a personal challenge. Because when I didn't finish down through the years, I only have a handful of clients every year, mm-hmm. to the point that like it's less than 10 clients every year. Though okay, naman siya, money wise and stuff. I just thought that. Merong bang way for me to just amplify it. So mm. the challenge was 150. Hindi ko alam kung maabot ka pa for this year pero <laughs> para hindi na eh, para tagilid na eh. Pero uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Actually, ano, um yeah, I just I just closed ano, uh two clients earlier. So 123 na siya. Oh, uh, <laughs> from 121. See? But Pinalang. but pero malayo, malayo pa rin. Like, kasi I need to serve them all na yung quality hindi maapektuhan. Yeah, right. So that's very crucial as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Grabe. So dun po sa 123 na yun, halos dun siyempre tapos na yun. So that's yes. within one year po ba? <laughs> yes. So, uh, 2020. January to hanggang December. Grabe, 120. Congratulations po. <laughs> it's fun, it's fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, doon po sa challenge na po sa sarili niyo, for you, Mr. Harry, uh, ano po yung mga realization? Hmm. Um, siguro first, first talaga, is, uh, uh, ang laki pala ng pinagkaiba kapag intentional ako mm-hmm. sa mga ginagawa ko. As opposed to parang hinahayaan ko lang yung opportunities na <laughs> dumating. Parang mm. parang parang one tamad na nakanganga lang tapos hinihintay yung bayabas na mawag sa. Um, ang laki ng difference. Um, mm. Kasi ako mas nasanay ako sa referral network. Parang mm. from 2015, laban ako ng mga events sa MOA, tapos iba't iba mga seminars, mga and stuff. Tapos lumibigay ng calling card, nag-expand mm. ng network locally. Um, so mas nasanay ako na referrals talaga dumarating yung ano yung mga clients. Uh, and then though I know 
some outbound marketing mm-hmm. yung sipag natin hindi yeah. <laughs> hindi umaangat so um, yeah hindi ako masyadong fan of outbound before until i actually uh, was able to create a system for it na nagu work with my lifestyle and also with my team so that's that's how it is um but eh, yung intentionality ang laki ng pinagkaiba when i set myself na uh, gawin yung challenge parang nakita ko alin yung mga mas mahalaga talaga dapat natutukan mm-hmm. tapos alin yung mga parts na pwede kong bitawan kasi hindi naman sila as important uh, yeah. so yung process is now more efficient more effective more results driven Ano? Totoo yun, no, Miss Alfie? Anong masasabi niyo doon, Miss Alfie? Para medyo pakinggano natin. Gusto <laughs> ko marinig si Miss Alfie. Okay, wala na maingay. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so, yung tulad po na sabi ni um, Sir Harry, isa din na sa mga um, challenges ko, yung may system, kumbaga pa, um, ina kumbaga pa in identify ko pa ngayon yung mga processes na pwede siyang ma-delegate at saka yung pwede lang talaga na ako yung maka kumbaga pa ako yung gagawa kasi um kung lalo na pag dumadami na yung uh, clients and then you're planning to let's say open your agency no so dapat i-identify din natin ano yung mga processes na pwede nating um i-outsource kasi uh, mahirapan tayo mag-grow pag hindi tayo marunong mag um delegate so ayun ay uh, isa din yan sa mga mention ni Sir Harry actually yung system okay sige sige um okay so eto naman po um since uh nasa season of ano tayo ngayon na uh, one of the difficult season natin for this year and yung sa pandemic season so uh, mm-hmm. Sir Harry, what are the adjustments during the quarantine? In- yeah. Um, <laughs> ito, uh, kasi I actually have retainer clients na nag-pause. Mm-hmm. That's, that's one of the, uh, the challenges. No? Kasi if their business is unstable and then there's less income na pumapasok, mm-hmm. or yung iba nga talagang nag-stop, so no income yung pumapasok. Uh, part of that is uh, eh, they can't continually spend rin yung resources na yun, no? So some of them have actually uh, parang yung business nila nag-stop rin ng operations mm-hmm. or pinifigure out pa nila how they can actually bounce back or what ways can they actually do to, uh, no, to pivot. No? Narinig natin yung word na pivot eh, for, for many businesses this year. Yeah. Um, so sa akin yung una ko naging adjustment was when the pandemic hit and one of my uh, clients paused their retainer for me. That was a wake up call na what other stuff pa ba yung, yung pwede kong i-offer. Um, and then what happened was in between the month of March and May, I was able to create 13 uh, business plans for different clients. Actually, yung isang client, like, for yung business plans niya. So, yeah, mayaman siya. So, yeah. <laughs> um, they, they, businesses and clients were trying to figure out uh, ano ba yung pwedeng gawin sa current nilang negosyo? O kaya pwedeng idagdag? O pwedeng, saan pwedeng iliko yung, yung businesses nila? So, I, I just, I just uh, started to study the trend. And I found out na uh, anim, anim na industries yung fast growing uh, during the pandemic. So it's the finance industry, the health industry, yung self-help industry, relationship industry, tech, mm-hmm. and then e-commerce. So yung, yung anim na yun, basically, um, nag-create ako ng templates for, for those na ano ba yung usual na a business plan templates for each and then since i have a network yun yung mm-hmm. yun yung ano yun yung uh, minobilize ko 
I just told them na if they know someone in any of these industries, nandito yung growth ngayon, so nandito yung pera. And if they want to pivot businesses, yan, I offer this creation of business plan. So I consult, create business plan, tapos yan. Um, yeah, so I was able to, uh, no, to do that as my main service nung mga times na unstable. Kasi natatakot ako nun na ano eh, baka yung iba kong clients mag-post din. Kasi nag-post na yung isa. So parang, oh no, pag wala akong ginawa to, to actually prepare for something. Yung retainer ko mauubos. Yeah. Um, but luckily, dalawa lang naman yung nag-po, nag-post. Uh, that's two out of four. Um, mm. So buhay pa naman. But at the same time, <laughs> yun nga, I, I kind of got to find out paano pa pwedeng expand yung services ko. So those okay. business plans are actually very helpful. Um, yeah. And, mm-hmm. At least po, di ba, uh, kasi halos yung iba parang iniisip nila, it's uh, parang uh, wala nang blessing dun sa nangyayari ngayon sa atin. But ang mm-hmm. totoo niya, uh, uh, yun, like you said, Ms., uh, Sir Harry, na meron talagang, meron at meron pa rin. You have to look on the positive side of it na yun, like yun sa inyo, meron po kayong na, na-explore o kayo meron din kayong um, natutuhan na bagong skill nyo para mas, uh, or probably, ano nga ba yun sir? Ano ba yung bagong skill na natutuhan nyo? Actually, hindi naman siya super bago. Kasama na talaga siya sa ginagawa ko. Mm-hmm. It's just that uh, most of my clients already have their businesses built before I come into the picture. Okay. Kaya consultancy na lang yung ginagawa ko. But since the pandemic, marami gustong mag-start o parang restart ng business. Oh, okay. So doon po masok yung uh, business plan like do even even sa accounting, 'di ba? If forecast mo pa yeah. ano yung mga kailangan nila. That's that's part of it. So para matansya nila how paano yung trajectory ng business nila can can actually grow even in these times. So, yeah. Numbers numbers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice, 'di ba? Kailan mo 'yun? So ito po besides what happened in the pandemic. Sigurado, um, uh, mga viewers natin, gusto rin maraman, as a freelancer po, uh, what are the setbacks, okay, uh, in your, on, on your journey as a freelancer? So, and how did you resolve this? Wow. Uh, and dami eh. 10 years eh. <laughs> so, uh, po, um, I'll choose. Salamat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll choose, ano, um, Siguro dalawang significant experiences. No? Uh, w- when I was building my marketing agency three years back, 2017, um, I was I was trying to close clients, and kaya ako bumo ng agency kasi meron na ako na kausap na dalawang uh, clients, basically potential clients palang. And ang dating sa akin is go na go na yung project. So, because these are big clients, uh, isa sa real estate, and then yung isa is nasa finance industry. Um, sobrang excited ko, nag-register na ako agad ng agency. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, nag-gather na ako agad ng team members because somehow naman, we're, we're blessed na parang out of our own pocket, medyo mm-hmm. kaya na mag, magpa, magpasweldo initially. So I was trying to close these two clients, excited, nag-register agency, di ando na lahat, may, may, ano ka na, may TTI ka na, may, oh. ando na yung sa seat permit, mayor's permit, tapos mm-hmm. may BIR, may resibo na, Diyan, sobrang excited pa nang na-resibo, may resibo and stuff. Kasi it's a requirement, no? Especially if local, they would require you na may resibo before, before mag-work with you. So parang ano, and the thing is, napangakuan ako na yung projects na yun will actually be a go. Turns out yung finance industry nag back out siya. So parang okay, uh, parang ano na yun, kalahati na nung inaasahan ko na magiging malaking project to wala. Tapos um, because of that desperation na parang okay, paano ko pwedeng secure na tong isa pang client? I started to work for the client even without the contract being signed. So what happened was, okay sige. Papatunayan ko dito na papabibo ko para matuloy itong project na to lalo. What happened was, eventually, we did one, like six, five weeks of consulting with them, binuoy marketing strategy for the campaign that they have and stuff. 
and we ended up not getting paid and not getting hired for the project. So, yan, napangakuan na magsasign ng contract pero hindi. What happened was, yeah, from from November of 2017 to February of 2018, I was actually in this very low energy depressed mode and I can't find the strength to gather uh, resources or even tap my resources para magkaroon ng clients. Eventually, I had to let go of my team mm-hmm. and uh, kailangan ko magtipid so much. Uh, I was in this verge of too much overwhelm and anxiety and because of that, uh, I, I, I ate oatmeal for lunch and dinner for six weeks. Kumbaga, mas... Mas mahal pa yung kinakain ng aso ko na dog food <laughs> kaysa sa akin on a weekly basis. Um, that that was that was the spiral no of of how things go when businesses don't have a structure and enough preparation. And that's where it hit me. Doon ko na realize na oh, hindi hindi super simple ng business especially if hindi talaga prepared. So Ayun, eventually I I got what what had me resolve that was um since I was a VA for a long time uh meron nag reach out sa akin from uh, previous clients so these were two clients from uh, New Jersey and one is from Long Island New York um and what happened was they they got me so naisip ko na instead of me going all in na local market yung isa serve ko kasi feeling ano patriot patriotism na parang pinoy yung gusto kong tulungan it's the yun yung vision and all um i had to ano i had to go back to my roots as a freelancer for international clients just to get by and then start forming another team uh with with my business partners before we can actually get the get the agency going again so yeah aside from that i also had mentors so they were a couple Um, so, sila naging mentor ko for consulting nun, noong 2018, and they actually had me, ano, had me straight, set me straight para makausad na from from that experience. Yeah. Nice. Oo, oh, no? Sobrang laking factor din po na yun, meron tayong, yung, siguro yung mentor niyo po nun, Sir Hargi, is also parang naging support group niyo rin that time. Talaga. Yeah, yeah. Um, kumbaga, duma... nakatawa eh dumaan din sila sa ganong <laughs> situation and yun they can actually guide me through it to the point na ako nga even my own advocacy is if i can help people na hindi na pagdaanan yung pinagdaanan ko yeah. of course i would i would gladly do that kasi it's it's not always easy and entrepreneurship can be lonely and there are lots of uh, pitfalls yes one decision na out of whatever emotion man yan or excitement, masaya ka man, or like, walang well, it can actually have ripple effects into the business. Eh. So, yes. yeah. And, so, po yun. Hindi mo mabibigay kung, kung ano yung, hindi mo mabibigay sa ibang tao kung ano yung hindi mo na-receive. So, yun po. Para kasing may panguhugutan ka eh. Alam, may, mas may hmm. laman and uh, may, mas, mas may sense kapag pinagdaanan mo yung sitwasyon na yun. Yes, naman. And yes, tama po yung sabi ni Sir, Sir Harry na business preparation is very important. Uh, ang hirap nun. <laughs> yung talagang nakaplano na, nakaset na, ito na, tapos bigla, it didn't work the way we, we expect it. Diba? So, mm-hmm. ayun, uh, Sir Harry, salamat dahil naging matatag ka <laughs> at bumangon ka. Oh. Kailangan bumangon, syempre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Buti na lang. Buti na lang. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ito po. Meron tayo dito ang next question. Um, do you believe there is some sort of pattern or formula to becoming a successful entrepreneur? Hmm. Um... Yes and no. <laughs> Ang hero eh, no? pero yes in a sense na uh, sige, sorry, unahin natin yung no. No in a sense na when you say successful entrepreneur, um marami siyang variations eh. 
Kasi success is actually defined by the person mismo. Uh, some entrepreneurs, 100K a month, successful na yun for them. Some naman, they need to hit seven figures para masabi nila na successful na sila. Some of them just need that extra 25K na cash sa isang simple side hustle. And that's what success means to them. And pwede rin siya mag-change season per season. Depende sa pangailangan ng tao, pangailangan ng pamilya, pangailangan ng kung ano yung what what fuels yung pag-abot sa pangarap mismo ng person. Um, so is there a, some pattern or formula? Uh, no in the sense na every person can find their path towards the level of success that they envision. Um, However, yes, in the sense na may similarities pa rin. Uh, every successful entrepreneur, kahit sa ang industry, kahit gaano kalaki yung kinikita, gaano kalaki yung company nila, there are similarities na nakikita natin across the board. Um, actually, the number one uh, criteria, uh, this is a study made in the US. And um, nag-survey sila ng mga successful millionaires in the USA, and merong mga top 20 qualities na, na nilista from that. No? Um, paborito ko yung number one. Of course, syempre, <laughs> gusto na yung number one. Uh, number one is actually honesty. Yeah. Honesty. Uh, malaking bagay yung transparency and integrity sa pagiging successful entrepreneur. Um, especially if you want to be in this uh, business journey for the long term. Um, if, kasi usually nakikita natin, pwede ka naman makakuha ng short term gains eh, or shortcut na kita. Um, pero not necessarily in a way na ethical or not necessarily in a way na laging wala ka maapakan na iba. But it's a real quality. Number one quality is honesty. And that's for ano, the, the survey. Ang nakakatuwa is yung number four. Uh, yung number four is medyo madaya, no? Kasi ang, ang number four is a supportive spouse. Ooh. <laughs> so, so yeah, akalain mo yun, number four sa list is for you to have a partner that actually supports Ooh. your business. So, um... Yeah, I hope that gives ideas sa mga single pa dyan. <laughs> um, may ganun, may, may ganun siyang similarities across the board. Pero meron ding differences depende sa kung what, how you define success and your success as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sir Harry, I think I agree with number one and four then. Yung para, <laughs> I, I really agree with one and four. So yung one, o oh, totoo yun, uh, ang hirap na pakitang tao lang. <laughs> yung ganun, yung pakita ka lang sa, sa madla na ganito. Pero ang totoo nun, hindi mo naman pala kayang i-deliver yung sinabi mong i-deliver yung resulta, diba? So, eh, yung number four naman, oo, may hugot ako dyan kasi, <laughs> yan, married na po. So, ayun, yeah. totoo yun, lagi namin pinag-uusapan ng asawa ko yan. And I am grateful kasi yung asawa ko, he's very supportive. Uh, I think nakita niyo siya nung, <laughs> nung, and, yeah, and, yeah. And so he's he's with me. Talagan si namahan niya. Kahit ang layo na yung kahit feeling niya mo open siya. So yes, kasama talaga sa ka, sa kasangkapan ng success yung supportive spouse. Yeah. Sana all. <laughs> <laughs> um, ano yung tayo din namin yung announcement mo, sir? <clears throat> yung sayo. <laughs> yeah, mong submit ako. <laughs> Hinihintay ko na yung kay Miss Alfie eh. <laughs> so, Meron naman akong supportive ano eh, yeah. anak. Okay na yun sa akin. Bahala na si Lord. <laughs> yun ang importante. Okay, okay sige po. Ito, ito. Ah, gusto ko tong question na to. So, what entrepreneurial tricks have you discovered to keep your you focused and productive in your day-to-day business schedule? Hmm. Uh, natawa ako sa term na tricks. <laughs> parang ano eh, parang, parang, parang ano, uh, yeah, sa, yeah, nakatawa lang. Um, siguro ano, there's two things that are really, ano, really 
highlighted in my life. Uh, most people are actually surprised when I say or when I describe myself as lazy. Um, but that's actually true. I mean, paniwalaan man ng ibang tao o hindi. Hindi raw ako mukhang hindi masipag. Hindi raw ako mukhang tamad. Um, Totoo. Oo <laughs> nga. <laughs> I actually am. I, I actually am. Uh, I don't see that as a, ano, as a weakness though. Kasi, in a sense, um, dahil sa sobrang tamad ko, gusto ko tapos na kagad yung trabaho. Hmm. Kaysa hubaba pa siya. So, my work week usually goes like, Monday to Wednesday, satisfied mm-hmm. na yung week ko. Mm-hmm. Thursday and Friday, I can basically, kahit ano naggawin ko ng Thursday, <laughs> kahit tumumbling lang ako dyan or stuff, uh, okay na yung week ko. Uh, sinisiksik ko lahat nung kailangan kong gawin na major things for the week within Monday to Wednesday. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. Um, so that if ever, may mga weeks na sumasablay, no? may mga weeks na tumalampas pa rin ng Wednesday. Pero at least I have a buffer. Para yung mm-hmm. weekends ko, hindi na siya naapektuhan or kung may iba akong plano, like, maayos pa rin siya. So, yun. Uh, more on pagsiksik ng schedule, uh, my motto is self-made lang naman to Parang, I work hard so I don't have to work harder. Yan. Um, and then yung next thing is delegation talaga. Like finding the right people na kakombo ng skills ko when I say kakombo, uh, people who can do uh, things better than me. Uh, either hindi ko kayang gawin yung ginagawa nila, kaya sila yung mas okay pagkatiwalaan na gawin yun, or kahit kaya kong gawin, pero, example, kaya ko naman mag-photoshop and stuff, pero pag kinompare sa graphic artist ko, para lang ako nag-drawing ng, <laughs> ng, yes. ng stick man, tapos yung sa kanya, okay. ano, sobrang lupit. So, delegation, uh, finding people na kayang sumalo nung hindi ko kayang gawin or can do the stuff that I do better so that I can focus on kung ano yung masaya ako gawin and yung uh, zone of genius in a sense. Kung saan ako magaling or I can create more output. Yeah. Ooh, oh nga, no? Totoo yun, no, Miss Alvin. <laughs> delegation, napaka-important. Yes, you know? delegation. Yep. Siguro, sorry, uh, siguro dagdagan ko rin. Some people, some people kasi think na pag sinabing delegation, parang kailangan mag-hire ka agad ng VA or may executive assistant ka or hire ka agad ng team members. Ako, nag-start ako na inuuto ko lang yung mga mas bata akong pinsan eh. <laughs> Yan, kapatid. Oh, kapatid. Kapatid, oh. yes. Tapos, minimal pay kasi ano eh, uh, umuoo agad, may pang-allowance na. <laughs> Yun. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Hindi kailangan sobrang gastos. Um, yeah. yeah, especially if you have people you can trust naman. Uh, family or pwede ring friends. Yeah, that that can work. Yes, 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 yes. So, ayun, Sir Harry, malapit na tayong matapos. Pero meron pa kaming gustong pahabol dito kasi I think maganda to. Nasa momentum na tayo ng pag yan advice sa mga entrepreneur. Yan. Ito, what key activities would you recommend inter- entrepreneurs to invest their time in? So, hmm. yung mga viewers po kasi natin ngayon, medyo iba-iba. <laughs> yung mga yeah. business owners, mga bookkeepers, yan, accountants, yan po. Yeah. Um, sa akin, ano, laging learning. So, if you can focus on really acquiring information na makakatulong sa'yo, of course, when applied, no? Kasi, madalas sa atin, para nood ka lang ng courses, tapos, oh, napalad mo na yung training videos, yung modules and stuff, pero kulang naman sa application. So, yes. but, uh, <laughs> yes na yes, no? Yes, yes, um, yes. <laughs> yung yung ganun, uh, learning activities pa rin talaga, pero 70% kasi of learning is nasa application. Nasa application. So, when I say uh, consuming resources and learning, it's about, ano talaga, not only consuming the information, but really putting into schedule kung kailan siya at kung paano siya i-apply. Yan. Um, so, consuming those information, ako, I have a few criterias lang naman. Uh, if I can't really apply yung, ano, yung kinoconsume kong information within 45 days, mm-hmm. ibig sabihin, hindi pa yun yung dapat na finofocus ko. Yan. Mm-hmm. Kasi it won't 
matter as much pa if unahin kong aralin yan. I can use that time for studying kung ano yung pwede ko na kagad i-apply. Um, yeah, ano yun eh, parang minsan kasi na ano tayo, na, na parang hindi pa natin ako close yung first client natin, gusto natin bumuo na kagad na agency. Yes! <laughs> so, parang nai-skip yung ibang parts na pwede kagad i-apply. Yeah. But yeah, uh, more on learning, more on learning talaga yung key activities as an entrepreneur kasi the world is fast changing. Like maraming iba't ibang uh, bagong strategies lagi, bagong ways of doing things. So if we don't have a priority na mag-learn, uh, don't, hindi, hindi man agad-agad mararamdaman na napag-iiwanan tayo. Pero imagine if like for a year you didn't learn something new. For two years, you didn't learn something new. Lahat yun parang, ano, parang isang bagsak siya mo lang ma-realize na, ay, sana pala inaral ko to. Yes. <laughs> Nung mga panahon na pwede ko pang aralin. So, ganun siya nangyayari. Uh, yeah. yeah, yun lang naman. More on learning talaga. I agree with that, uh, Sir Harry. Kasi lalo na para tayo, we are all into coaching, di ba? So, syempre, hmm. kung ano yung Uh, kailangan mo nang laging may bagong update, ganyan. Siyempre, kung ano yung natutuhan mo, yun din yung ipapasa mo dun sa mga mentors. Yes. So, yes. Nice, nice. So, eto po. Uh, ano po kaya yung uh, magi- mabibigay nyo advice to those who want to become entrepreneurs? Hmm. Cool question. Uh, una, <laughs> wag nyo akong gayahin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, it's it would really be best to ano to first find your own strengths. Saan ka magaling? Ano yung madali madali sa yun nagawen? Even yung na enjoy mo nagawen. Mm-hmm. Um, kasi there's always a market that can fit kung sino ka at kung ano yung magaling ka nagawen. Um, what most entrepreneurs usually when, when when they start what they do kasi is tinitingnan nila kung ano na yung gumagana para sa iba and yung gumagana para sa iba yung nagiging basihan ng decisions nila kung anong klase ng negosyo yung bubuuin nila or how they would go about it yes mm-hmm. which is yeah I means and it works yeah. mm-hmm. pero for most uh it wastes a lot of attention, energy, time, and even money. Kasi it's not because gumagana para sa iba, ibig sabihin automatic gagana na rin para sa'yo kapag sinupukan mo. Um, the, the real factor is in knowing yourself and how you can position kung ano yung meron ka na, kung ano yung nasa yun na ngayon. And even kung ano yung mas madali mo na, ano, mas madali mo na, Uh, ma-acquire o matutunan. Um, yeah, example sa akin, I I ha- I actually had a stint as ano, as a VA na I was doing QuickBooks online before. Ah, talaga. Like, do hindi siya ko pwedeng pumirma after. <laughs> Pero I was able to yan, uh, lahat ng resibo na yan. <laughs> I-enter mo isa-isa manually. This was way back 2013. <laughs> Wow. Ayan. Um and bookkeeping is ano, ang background ko lang doon sa bookkeeping is uh, naging elective ko siya nung second year high school. So I I was just remembering assets liabilities and I was Google searching how to actually do <laughs> do do. Um yung yung aptitude that's very important. Uh kunyari ako, hindi ako magaling sa math. Pero I'm more of an analytical person. So, yung QuickBooks back then, I saw that as ano, activating my analysis more than my math skills. Mm-hmm. And I actually took on that job kasi I'm confident with my analytical skills. Mm-hmm. Na kaya kong isearch kung saan to, kung transpo expense pa yan, food expense pa yan, and anong klaseng reimbursement yan, petty cash and stuff. I was I was able to Uh, see how it all connects because alam ko na yung analytical skills ko is at that certain level. Um, for other people, they are more creative naman. Iba naman, mas uh, 
mas they pay attention to details, meron na mga people, mas nakikita nila kagad yung big picture. Uh, there are different ganong klase, no? So, merong mga skills na mas appropriate for every person, and they can offer that as a service. Meron din mga products na mas, ava- mas okay for a person to actually uh, sell kasi they believe in the product na as well or it resonates with them. Ayan lang naman. Mm-hmm. Yun na, uh, mga viewers, naglista ba kayo? <laughs> Ayan na, yung mga advice na minention ni Sir Harry in if you want to start your business. Diba? So, ayun, um, sana nilista nyo yun. <laughs> Okay. okay. Take advantage ng pre-consulting ni consultation ni Sir Harry. Okay. Yes. Okay, sige. Sige po. Uh, I think malapit na po tayo matapos. So, ito po, uh, Sir Harry, what are your plans for the new normal? And if you could uh, share share with us your um, products and services na ina-offer currently. Mm. Um, actually, for this year, I'm just, I'm just planning to close one more ano, one more retainer client for consulting um actually uh, what i do for for my consulting service is a seasonal uh thing for the retainers that i get um i just do it once a year so in between the months of september and november that's where i close my clients for the year of for the next year mm-hmm. so that's really a 12 month retainer Para yung efforts ko, uh, yeah. yun na, concentrated lang within within that time frame. Yeah. Uh, and that's a retainer na for the next year. Um, I I do some coaching on the side. Uh, I have some group coaching programs and I do one-on-one coaching. Mm-hmm. As of now, actually, I'm not taking any more clients for coaching this year, yung one-on-one. Mm-hmm. As for the group coaching naman, uh, next year na rin ako mag, magla-launch ng, ano, ng group coaching program ulit. So, but um, there's actually this thing I'm doing. It's a, it's a mastermind for emotional intelligence. Mm-hmm. And I'm still, I'm, t- I'm still accepting uh, people into that. Um, it's a very, ano, it's a very uh, newly public lang na service. So I've been doing this for one-on-one in group coaching clients before. But right now, uh, I'm offering it to to the public for the first time. So very very limited yeah. lang yung slots uh, into that. And yeah, I parang ano lang siya, parang it's a way to support uh, entrepreneurs. So mm-hmm. ano siya? Um, kasi most of our decisions are based on emotions. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And if our emotions are unstable. Hindi lang yun sa ano sa pagbili ng hindi lang yun sa Shopee at sa Lazada no. <laughs> Pati sa pagkausap sa client, pag-price ng services, all all of these things no. Uh, when we are too emotional, pwedeng sobrang saya o sobrang down, uh, it affects the way that we decide on things. So, uh, since ako, I I have I've had uh, depression for in, in the past. Um I can see how that affects no, the emotional side of things. And now I'm trying to build a community that the focus is more on the emotional management for entrepreneurs so that we don't have to fall prey to our own tendencies no, when, when, we are, when emotions are high. Ayun, um, that's something that I'm, I'm accepting people into. Pa. And... Plan, yeah, you, you, you sorry. Next ano? year plan, Sir Harry or next year na? You uh, it's you actually know? open. It's actually oh. open right now for for enrollment. And mm-hmm. uh nag-start na siya this week, pero I'm still I'm still having people enter kasi hindi pa naman finalized yung mm-hmm. schedules niya for coaching. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um you'll be surprised at the price points for sure. If if a PM nyo ako, uh you you'll be surprised, promise. Because oh, ano uh, it's it's very sulit. Nice. Yeah. So, so sigurado po sulit yan. Um, yes. Knowing Sir Harry, de ba? And um, Sir Harry, paano ba nila paano ka ba nila ko kontakan is it by email, Facebook, LinkedIn? Um, well, I'm I'm open to my ads of Facebook, and mm-hmm. at the same time, I have a Facebook page. So mm-hmm. it's Harry R Singh. 
Mm-hmm. Yan lang. Yan yung ano niya, uh, Facebook page handle niya. Um, so, sasagutin kayo ng chatbot ko. <laughs> but, <laughs> If you have if you have any inquiries naman there just just type it in and I I personally handle the messages there. So yeah, I can get in touch with everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Po. Ito po as an ending message po sa mga viewers po natin. What can you tell or share to those who are planning to do freelancing or doing freelancing now and what advice can you give to them? Wow. Uh please 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 wag niyo gawin mag-isa. Because when I started freelancing, I was alone. Like for, imagine, 10 years in freelancing, pero first time pa lang sumali sa isang freelancing community last year. Wow. Tribe. <laughs> the tribe. It was yes. actually life, ang laki ng pinagkaiba. As yeah. in. Like the the first few months I was in the tribe, I was able to 5x agad my rate. Mm-hmm. At the same time, yung stream of clients coming in is most consistent. Yes. Hindi ko na kailangan problemahin kung saan ako kukuha ng client the next month. Um, if there's a way na you can open up yourself talaga to all mm-hmm. the various resources and help that you can, please do. Kasi ako, Google lang meron ako back then for 10 years. <laughs> for 10 years of freelancing, Google lang yung meron ako. Uh, Close na kami ngayon, eh, pero iba pa rin if you have a community that can support yep. you, coaches True. and mentors that are there to answer your questions, your inquiries. And hindi lang tungkol sa business eh. Mentors mm-hmm. for sure, like like Coach Shari, Coach Alfie, they're there kahit, kahit malungkot ka lang. <laughs> Yung tipong wala ka namang kailangan na, na skill talaga wow. na kailangan problemahin, but just that support. The moral support and cheerleading and and hand hand holding at times it's very important i yes. wish yeah if, if i can go back in time that was 2009 and there are communities like this existing i would have taken advantage of that yep. yeah yeah <laughs> Ayun, ayun. Sobra po, Sir Harry. Sobrang salamat po sa pagbibigay po ng oras sa amin and yeah. sa community yes. of bookkeepers and accountants uh, sa pag-share po ng mga advice, mga tips niyo po and sharing your story sa amin po. Sobra po kaming nabibless sa story niyo at na-encourage yes. sa lahat po ng senior niyo po sa amin. So, Miss Alfie, anything to say to Sir Harry? <laughs> Parang nasabi na lahat ni ano, uh-huh. Sir Harry. <laughs> um, sige, basta lang muna tayo ng comment. Uh, ito po, sabi ni Mel, I really admire your characteristic as a freelancer and a very strong personality mm. that even how hard the experience was, you were able to surpass everything. And po, yes. sabi ni Mel. And then, I think nasagat na tong question ni Kim about the challenges. Ayun si Mel. So, parang walang question ng mga ano natin. Talagang napasakit <laughs> yung mga viewers natin. Na- nakinig at nagsulat siguro. Actually, ako din may mga, may mga takeaways din ako dito. Sobra. And, uh, yun po ulit, Sir Harry. Thank you so much for giving Yes, me- Sir Harry. Sobra po. Um, actually, huwag yun ako, sir. <laughs> may, may ilang ako, actually. Like, sinister yun pa. Kal- may sir, tsaka may po. So, I feel like, ano, dumadami yung, ano, puting buhok ko. <laughs> Ay, si yan na naman. <laughs> Sige po. Uh, ayun, ayun. Sorry po, nasanay lang talaga. So, ayun, ayun po. Um, pagbigyan nyo na po ako. <laughs> ayun, so, ayun po. Um, Yun po, uh, we hope, ayan po, uh, guys, sa ating mga viewers, uh, kung gusto nyo po maging part doon sa uh, coaching program ni Sir Harry or one-on-one or yung ongoing na enrollment for emotional intelligence, please uh, message him or punta lang po kayo doon sa Facebook page niya. So, ayan yes. guys, um, thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon. Ayan, pag na nga. <laughs> So, ayun, thank you again, Sir Harry, and thank you, Miss Alice, yes. for another... Yes, thank you, Sir Harry. 
Yeah, always Sir welcome. Harry. <laughs> Sorry plus mo. na lang. Sir Harry. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ayun po. Thank you so much po. Have a great day. See you around. See yes. you soon. <laughs> yes. Yes. Bye-bye.